Hi everyone, I'm Amanda Burbage, a Faculty Professional Development Manager at Tidewater Community College, and I'd like to show you how to enter your grades after you've finished teaching your course. So first you're going to want to log into your SIS system. And from the self-service page, which opens, you'll want to access your Faculty Center, and then my schedule. Here you'll notice a breadcrumb trail at the top, tabs that are navigation links, course links for each of the classes that you might be teaching or being a teacher assistant on, as well as navigation links at the bottom. And I show you this because a best practice in SIS is to use the navigation provided. Using the back button in your browser can sometimes cause problems. Now I'm going to enter grades for EDUC 8286 and first I need to locate the course. And as I scroll down, I see it listed here. Now if you do not see your course, you may need to change your term at the top by clicking change term. In that case, it's time. So you can either view all or use the arrow key to navigate to the next page. Now once you've located the course that you want to grade, you'll need to click the grade book icon or the grade roster icon. And here you'll see the course listed with all of the students who are registered in SIS for your class. To enter the grade, simply click the Grade Roster drop-down box and select the appropriate uh, grade that you want to award. I'm awarding an S for a student who satisfactorily completes the course. And as I've entered the first grade, what you may see up at the top is a yellow caution sign from the system telling us that everything on the page is disabled while we are entering grades, and this is a good thing. So I'm going to go ahead and keep entering my grades, entering an X for anyone who has not completed the class. Now that I've entered all of my grades, I want to select the Save button. But I'm not done yet. You'll see that notification, uh, the warning sign up at the top went away, but now I need to approve the grades. So I'm going to give it one last double or triple check, and there are lots of folks who might prefer to do this with a printer-friendly version. Uh, use this link below, the printer-friendly version link, to open it up in a screen uh, where you could then print it to your, uh, to your printer and compare that printer friendly version perhaps to your gradebook or your course book. In my case I'm confident that my grades entered do match what is appropriate and so I'm going to now approve the grades like I said. So go to the approval status and click the drop down, click approved, another warning sign is given and this is a good thing, uh, but now we want to press save. And you might see up at the top if you caught that, it said save. Uh, SIS will sometimes tell you it's doing that. So finally, I've got the grades entered, and once SIS has officially posted those grades, Student Go Tutorial Helpful, and if you need further assistance, feel free to get in touch.